This is the biggest strawberry we have so far. Morning. We're picking strawberries today at a place called Hunter Farms. It's a pretty small farm, I think, in comparison to the others. Oh, I see some juicy ones right oh, over there. You scared me. I thought you were talking about like saying you see a bug or something. <laughs> we're going to come back out tomorrow or Wednesday, too. What's it doing, bud? Don't let him go. I haven't caught him. I don't tolerate heat well, so that's why we're going to come back out either tomorrow or Wednesday. So if I can stay like 20 minutes or so today and then do it again tomorrow or Wednesday, then I think we'll actually have enough strawberries to make some jam or do something halfway productive with them. I can't eat them, of course, but the rest of the fam can. They give you these cute little buckets. Some juicy ones back up in here. Oh. You were in your element. Boots. And I like all. picking things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do Har with this? Harvesting. Oh, I think we're going to make some jelly or jam. Strawberry shortcake or a pie. I don't know. How about strawberry shortcake and um, strawberry jam, strawberry preserves. We have to stay in field too. This is the biggest strawberry we have so far. It's big, dude. Put it in your hand. <laughs> I mean, my hands aren't huge or anything, but it's big. I'd I mean, say it's it, still about the put size it with of my other ones. It's huge. Yeah. We've been here for like five minutes. Yesterday, I was at the, there for like 15 minutes. Can't really handle more than that with the heat. I know that up north it's snowing yeah. places, so, but in the south, not so much. Look at all the strawberries, though. I mean, there's a lot. All the way down. Yeah. The plants give me a rash and make me get but with this farm, it's not like that. I don't have to touch the actual plant to move it back. Mm -hmm. to get the strawberries. Much further down this road, so I can get the strawberries back. It's not far either. I mean, it's just right there. The truck's right there. So, it's perfect. We're making some homemade strawberry jam. We had to add three cups of sugar to this sucker. This is three pounds of strawberries with three cups of sugar and about two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. My little cutting board says Chef Cheyenne. <laughs> this is a workout. I prefer just to use the lemon juice in the bottle. I think that's easier. Okay, we're pouring, we're pouring the lemon juice. It's one whole lemon. We've already sterilized our lids and our cans. Now I am stirring it while it comes to a boil. And then we're going to separate the strawberry pieces from the juice. I'm separating the juice from the berries. Whoa. We're using the plate to catch some more of the mess if there's any remnants. And the juice is going to go back in the pan. And then we're going to bring that to a boil until it reaches at least 220 degrees with a candy thermometer or any rapid thermometer. So we didn't know that we were supposed to have our water bath ready. So we had to kind of 
Hey, we're winging this. Process. We definitely don't know what we're doing. And I was just telling everybody, or I guess whoever sees this, that at one time I wouldn't have even been able to come in a room like with someone eating strawberries. Nope. But strawberries my scent triggers from mast cell activation syndrome are way less since my colectomy in 2018. I can tolerate being around more foods without having airborne reactions to them. And no one's quite sure exactly why that is. I did have a lot of mast cells in my colon. So we would assume removing the colon got rid of a lot of those mast cells that were constantly being triggered. And that way, now they're all in my small bowel, but I don't have as many there. But that, that I think would probably be the only positive thing that's come out of that surgery. It kind of worsened everything else and brought out new things, but that did improve. So I'm thankful for that. I had labs today to evaluate my calcium levels. Last week, my calcium stayed okay, which is good. We have too many batches of strawberries to fit in our pot, so I'm dividing it up and cutting the rest. And depending on how much jam we have from this first batch, I don't know what we're gonna do with the second batch. Yesterday, I tried to make a pie, and it didn't go very, very well. Yeah. I gotta get this going, but I don't know like how much water I'm supposed to put in it. Do you know? I have not a clue. Enough to where it covers the tops of the pants. I don't know. I don't want to make a mess, but I'm going to. It's okay. It. Messes can be cleaned <laughs> up. You don't fill it up all the way. You've got okay. to have room for the seal. What's wrong? The scuba tube hurts. Yeah, it Beautiful. Good. Okay, the last step is to completely submerge all of the cans in this boiling pot. And then the cans are supposed to make a pop sound. These are the cans that we have. We have two big cans and two yeah. little cans. The cans, they sealed. Um, now we're gonna let them sit overnight and cool off. I'm not gonna be able to try it myself, obviously, but my family will, and then we'll give some of it away as gifts. But of course, I don't wanna give that away until they try it first, because we have no clue what we're doing and we learned how to do this from a YouTube video. Anyways, so my calcium labs came back, the ionized and the regular calcium that's in the CMP. It looks like it's stable for now on the low end of normal. That means I don't have to get a an infusion separately at the hospital. And that is just with the calcium I'm receiving from the lactated ringers, like I mentioned in the last video. And there is a patch that has calcium that I'm going to try, but it has not come in yet.